Very pretty boat looking aft. Huge aft locker rack here. Massive, massive, massive. Wow. And then aft of the galley, we've got kind of like, I guess you'd call it a technical room. What's up guys? I've got an awesome offshore racer cruiser for you today. It's actually a custom designed Perry 59. It is designed by Robert Perry, who is one of my favorite designers, as I've said before in these videos. I pretty much like all of his designs, so I was definitely excited to see this boat. Anyway, guys, just gonna remind you real quick to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps us a lot, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Now, before we continue with this boat tour, I wanted to quickly mention that I get a lot of comments from you guys about how much you enjoy these tours because they're a way for you to see what's out there on the yacht market. Some of you are boat shopping, some of you already own boats and are getting ideas, and some of you just really like looking at boats and are just passing the time. Regardless, common interest is what binds us together. That actually brings me to today's sponsor because if you're like me and you like boats, you also like fishing. Now, to me, boats and fishing go together like peanut butter and jelly. But how can you get that fishing fix if you can't always get on the water? Today's video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. Thanks to them, I get to keep making videos for you guys. Now, Fishing Clash is a free mobile-based game for iOS or Android that's all about fishing. So what's stopping you from going and downloading it now and checking it out? Now this game is fun, it's exciting, has beautiful graphics, and is easy to play. It allows you to travel to various places all over the world. You can fish from shore or from a boat and catch a wide variety of species. You can also upgrade your gear, skills, apply power-ups, and compete against others. There are weekly competitions and events to keep you competitive. You can also join a clan or create your own to connect with others. Lastly, you can help support us learning the lines by downloading the game via our unique link or QR code. Code. Be sure to use our gift code learning the lines to get a free special reward for new players that's worth 20 bucks. It includes a three star rod, a mythical lure, 50 luck, and 30 weight power ups to help you catch bigger fish. Whew, that's really nice. That was a big one. That's really, really nice. Alright, guys, so like I said, the game is really fun and a great way to pass the time. So if you haven't downloaded it by now, why not? It's totally free for Android and iOS. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Now, let's get back to the boat tour. All right, guys, I am really excited to step aboard this boat. I think I'm gonna like it. Let's go ahead and step aboard. We're gonna go forward first. We do have a really nice looking aft cockpit back there. But let's go forward and see what this boat offers. So. First thing first, nice wide side decks, nice high bulwarks here, nice and safe. Handrails going all the way forward. We got lines leading back to the cockpit. Lots of good ventilation with the raids as well as with hatches. Very nice looking deck so far. Got our shrouds right here. Rod rigging. Hydraulic boom with a furling mainsail, boom furling mainsail. Looking up the mast, triple spreader main mast, radar up there. Stepping through the shrouds, pretty easy. You can also step to the side, not too bad. You got nice stainless steel covers for the door aids when they're on the boat. You got a spinnaker pole at my feet. Moving forward. These lifelines are relatively high, that's good. So we've got a cutter rigged boat, both a head sail and a staysail. Dual anchor roller with a vertical windlass forward. Got another hose hole for some chain, windless controls. 
looking aft. I just want to mention, we've got this little brim right here, which I think is kind of interesting. That's actually going to help with spray coming over the bow a little bit and to help it, you know, rinse right off the sides before it enters the main deck. Now, obviously, a big enough wave is going to go over that, but it is going to do something to help keep the deck dry when you're underway. That's kind of nice. It's not something I've really seen before in this fashion. I like that. Good design choice from Perry. This is going to be our bow locker right here behind that little brim. So we've actually got a really big bow locker for sails, whatever else you might want to put down there. I mean, you can go all the way down in there. It's massive. It's like this whole section of the boat. So that's nice. Very pretty boat looking aft. You guys know me. I love Bob Perry's designs. So we've actually got two different types of poles for sailing up here on the deck, depending on your sail configuration. Multiple tracks, obviously. It's going to be your staysail track and your headsail track. Definitely a boat that is going to sail pretty well. Going aft again. Walking on this boat, it's nice and safe. This is a really cool feature, safety feature, design feature, what have you. I have not seen this yet. Look at how this handrail continues all the way up to the coach roof and continues around. Again, just an awesome safety feature. You've always got something to hold on to going forward. And then going to the aft section of the boat. We've got running backstays on the aft section of the boat here. They go to these winches so you can properly tension your rig while you're sailing. We've got stern rail seats on the back, a little mini arch, some instruments up top, and then we've got a sugar scooped walk through transom, which I love. I mean, not only is this a good sailboat, it's going to be a good boat to have at anchor too, because you've got a nice big swim ladder that goes down to the swim platform, the sugar scoop. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine just diving off the back here and being in, in the Caribbean? So underneath the steps right here, let's see what's down here. So it looks like we've got a storage compartment that seems to be used for, you know, fuel, oil, that kind of stuff, dirty bits going forward. Guys, look at this cockpit. This is an expertly designed cockpit for the 21st century. I love it. We've got dual helms. Some people might say you don't need dual helms, but with a boat that brings its beam as aft as this one does, it certainly helps. Because what's going to happen is you can stand here at this helm, helm the boat. You can sit here on the combing and see over the windward side of the boat when you're healing. And you can do the same on the other side. So I think for a boat like this, I love dual helms. You've got options. You've got tons of aft compartments back here. Let's take a look at them. So this is a huge huge aft locker rack here massive 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 i can get right down in there access anything i need then just after that we've got a propane locker nice little locker right here for some spare stuff and then going to the starboard side again just another massive starboard locker definitely a boat that the person it was designed for they wanted a lot of storage they wanted a lot of place places to put things and that's what they got 
Taking a look at the helms, you've got instruments at both helms. You've got electric winches on both sides. Instruments here, here as well. More winches, lines coming to the helms. And then you've got more winches up here and then some more instruments right there. This actually goes down into this aft cabin back here. And then right here you've got outdoor cold storage for drinks. So why not? Let's go ahead and look forward. Guys, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal protection. You've got a hard dodger. Again, you guys know I love hard dodgers. You got more than enough standing headroom. Probably about six and a half foot headroom right there. And then you've got your helms just aft of that dodger, but also a bimini that can be extended out and cover the helms as well. Pretty much perfect. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Go down below. Wow. You walk down here and you just immediately feel like you're in this massive, well-designed yacht. Let me give you guys a 360. So what do we got going on here? I'm gonna first kind of describe what I'm seeing and then we're gonna go in detail. But you've got a main salon that looks like it's centered around this massive, massive galley with huge, huge fiddles. Something that you can hold on to as well as something that's gonna protect you know, your stuff from falling off the counter. I like that a lot. That'll hold different things there and you've got handrails so you've got this massive galley here you've got a forward-facing nav station to starboard full bath to starboard going forward you've got a little dinette as well as a main salon table here pretty much an entertainment center slash desk right up there and a TV. I'm gonna keep going forward. Here's our mast right here, keel step mast. And then we're walking into the main cabin, which is a forward cabin on this boat. Forward of that bulkhead is the bow locker that we looked into earlier. We've got a beautiful, beautiful forward cabin in here. I mean, Everything is in amazing shape. Feels like a brand new boat. And you've got, you know, an island queen berth there, double berth, with tons of storage all around. So wet locker, it looks like, cabinets that light up. Beautiful. You got a little vanity, a little mirror right there. Storage everywhere. And then turning aft we've got a head right here with a sink beautiful head and sink and then our mast a winch right here and lines for what looks to be the centerboard and then a big separate shower so we got a head and a separate shower up in this forward cabin. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Let's turn back aft. Now we're going to kind of go and look at these areas a little bit more in depth. Here's the dinette area. Got storage behind that dinette underneath the cushions. Yep, storage. This is definitely a live aboard blue water cruiser. 
You could tell because of the way that it is. <laughs> but again, you're just gonna have storage underneath everything, behind everything. Underneath the cabin sole is gonna be tankage going aft. Here's our forward facing nav station. Really comfortable looking nav station. You know, a great central hub for the boat for all of the instruments and the electrical equipment, um, the distribution panel. Looks like there's already a computer here. This is gonna kind of be the office of the boat, you know. Really nice. Turn back to port. This is just a massive, massive galley. Looks like granite countertops, high fiddles, big sink, double sink, deep, with a drying rack integrated as well. That's cool. Big drawers for pots and pans and whatnot. Gimbaled stove, cold storage, plenty of cold storage, and more dry storage behind that. And then aft of the galley, we've got kind of like, I guess you'd call it a technical room. Really cool. It's basically like a workshop back here. So this is a hatch into that aft compartment that I showed you guys earlier. And then in here you've got bump da da generator access. And you got a technical room under here. Very nice. That's the ice maker. This this in here might have been a trash compactor. Yep. Really cool. Turning to starboard. We've got a full head. This is going to be your aft cabin head as well as a day head. Wet head. Really nice. And going aft back here. We've got cabin number two. It's a double berth with an optional single berth that folds down. And then forward in the cabin, we've got lots of clothes storage, as well as a door to the head. So the head is accessible without having to go out there for a little more privacy for your guests. Coming out. All right, one thing I did think is kind of odd is engine access on this boat. The engine's actually located underneath this galley sink area here, and it's underneath, you know, all that. So it has pull-out panels that all that will come out so that you can access the engine through that space as well as on this side too. So all these panels come out. You can kind of see the engine down there. I think you could probably access it from up there as well. But so the engine is actually under, right under there. You guys can kind of see it right now. So it's very low on the boat, which is, you know, that's going to be good for, for sailing. Um, but access is, is not really that great. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to rip apart the boat uh, just to get a shot of the engine right now. Because as you guys can see, that, that would be a lot of stuff I'd have to move. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. Let's go.
All right, guys, so what can I say? You know, that was just a beautiful and comfortable offshore boat. I mean, it's from 2006, so it's still relatively new and it's definitely been kept up. It's in really, really good shape. There is really not an ounce of wear and tear on that teak down below. It is really nice. It seems like this boat was designed around that main saloon and it is, I mean, definitely, you know, the point of the boat. It has a huge kitchen. It has a huge main salon down there, it has a nice big forward facing nav station and a separate dinette. I mean, it is definitely a really comfortable, livable space. Despite it being that big, there aren't these wide open areas that you have to walk through. Everywhere you go, you can brace, hold on to something somewhere. I mean, this boat is really designed as an offshore cruiser, so that was taken into account. And that's just Bob Perry being Bob Perry. So the combination of the elegance and livability with the offshore capability of the salon is you know, that's astonishing. Now, I also wanted to mention that this is a custom one-off that was commissioned by the current owner, I believe. So some of the design choices and everything were made by the owner along with the designer. One of those things I wanted to mention was the, you know, main cabin forward in this boat. You typically don't see forward main cabins in boats this big, but again, that's gonna be an owner's choice. And I think Bob did a really good job of integrating that. It was certainly large, very spacious. It had that separate shower stall as well as head up there. Definitely a comfortable place to be. Then towards the aft of the boat, you had that smaller aft cabin with a, you know, pop down bed. That's gonna be for kids or for guests. You have a separate head in the aft section of the boat. And then that massive workroom storage area, all those lockers in the aft section of the boat. Obviously that was something that the owner probably really wanted. Likely they emphasized storage in that section of the boat and definitely they got a lot of it. Lots of places for toys, easy access to equipment. It's really a nice space and again, is a trade-off, right? So you're gonna get less livability, but you've got a lot more storage and a lot more access to things. And I guess my one criticism of this overall design, the main engine all the way down low on the boat. If that's gonna be good for sailing performance, obviously, but if there was a way you could do it while also having really good access so you don't have to tear apart your galley just to get to it, that would be you know, kind of an improvement. So although I probably wouldn't have done it that way, I definitely love the design overall. Anyway guys, I think this is a great boat. I think the next owner is definitely gonna be happy with it. I'm happy that I got to see one of Bob Perry's more modern designs and to be able to bring it to you guys. If you're interested in this one, as always, the current asking price is gonna be in the description below along with the broker's contact information if you're interested potentially purchasing this boat or just want some more information. So that's gonna be it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. And just one last reminder to check out Fishing Clash if you haven't already. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I